Hello again there YouTube. Just thought I'd uh, post an update video. Um, I've now got a new revision of the solar camping slash festival portable power setup I made. Um, the main new addition is this thing right here. This is a 30 watt mono crystalline panel. Um, as you can see by my hand it's not too big. It's probably about as big as I would want to take camping or to festivals. Um, and I managed to get this for an absolute bargain of a price. I managed to get two of these, so two 30 watt panels, for £60. Um, now considering when I first started messing around with solar, um, you'd be talking about £60, £70 pounds just for one of them. The fact I got two 30 watt panels for £60 is an absolute bargain. Um, right, this is just a little test setup to show you guys. I have actually used this out and about and it does work. Um, as you can see, we haven't got all that much sun here. Um, but this is just more to show you guys on the video. Um, so I'll take you inside now and I'll show you where this wire is going. Okay, so we're inside. Um, this is where the wire is coming. If you look at my previous videos, you'll see when I built this battery box. Um, and we've just got a little port down here which I've used just for the um, solar panel input. If I pull that out, that's just a uh, it's just a microphone or audio jack which I've repurposed for the uh, solar. So in this, the uh, left and right pins that you can see are being used, um, but that middle one at the bottom that's just that's not being used. So if we pop this in here. Go ahead and open up the box. You can see at the moment it's running at about 12.48 volts. So you can see it's at a good voltage and it is charging. If I open this up. Right here we've got my charge controller, and as you can see, it is charging. And we've also got enough power that if we want to use a load, we could. Um, just a quick recap for those of you that haven't seen this box before. It's effectively a miniaturized system of what we have in the shed. So we have the panel coming in down there. That's going to this charge controller. It's then going to a small battery bank here. This is uh, 36 amp hour total. So each one is 12 amp hour sealed lead acid battery and then the power is coming from these batteries out to this high power output water power 12 volt socket and then I've also got a low power 3 port 12, point, uh, 12 volt socket and these are all wired up in here um, I won't go into too much detail if you look at my previous video that kind of covers it um, just to point out um, if I've still got the video I'll put it in here now in a moment um, but as you can see these have been numbered battery 1, 2 and 3. Um, I've actually changed the wiring on the box. In my earlier video you'll see that I had these three batteries plus a car battery. Um, that car battery has since died. Um, it was on its last legs anyway. Um, so I've taken that out and I've rewi rewired the battery just to use these three. Um, I've also disconnected these ports here. These are kind of ancillary ports that I built onto the box. Um, I didn't use them and so I've kind of disconnected them for now. Um, I may reconnect them in the future. Um, the main reason these are numbered like this is in my solar shed setup I've got the power coming in say on ba this battery. It trickles over to the next one trickles over to the next one and then the power comes out from this end. Um, now I've been told that's not the best way of doing things. What you're supposed to do is you kind of set up the charging in a kind of criss-cross pattern. So at the moment the charge, if you look here we've got input I and O for input and output. So at the moment the charge, if I turn the camera, it comes in on battery 3 and it also comes in on uh, battery 1. So it comes in battery 1, 
and battery 3. Similarly, the output comes out of battery 3 and battery 1. So instead of power going in, trickling over, trickling over and coming out, the power is going in across all three batteries equally and out across all three batteries equally. Um, as I say, I've not really tested it enough to know if that makes any difference because, well, the only, the only real difference is when you're going from one to the other to the other. If you've got thin wires, then I could understand where you might see a difference. Um, but if you look at these, I mean, these are properly thick cables. Um, so I don't think that's an issue, but I I've, I've thought I would try it out and give it a go, you know, see what happened. Um, now a few of you are going to want to know whether this thing actually works. Um, I can say yes it does. Um, I took this to Green Man Festival about uh, two weeks ago and it was able to run this beer fridge over here. Now this beer fridge operates at about 40 watts worth of power. That panel outside is 30 watts. So I worked out with these batteries theoretically it should run the fridge I think for about five hours five six hours something like that something like that I'll put a, um, a little caption in to say how long it should run but when I tested these batteries because they are old and they're also you know they're not in the best condition um, going down to about 30 percent state of charge um, I was able to run the fridge for just over two hours on the battery alone under testing. Um, now I worked out in good sunlight if I've got 30 watts coming in on the panel then you know it'll extend the run time. Um, in the real world scenario of being at a festival and using the beer fridge I found I could use the fridge for about maybe four hours four to five hours in good sunlight. Um, there's still some improvements I can make to this setup. Um, the next thing I want to do is replace this with an MPPT charge controller. Um, simply by replacing this standard charge controller with an MPPT one, I should gain about 20% more power, at least based on the theory anyway. Um, and beyond that, I'll probably replace these batteries at some point. Um, because they were free, and they do work, but um, you know they are coming to the end of their life. Um, beyond that, the only thing I would really change with this box um, is I plan on putting in a 12 volt to mains inverter somewhere where there's space, so I can have mains power portably. Um, and also, I want to build in a voltmeter, so I'm going to keep on using a portable one to check what the voltage is like. Um, but other than that, it's a good little project. Um, I mean, it's not. You know, it's not too big, it's not too heavy, um, and literally I just take that 30 watt panel that I showed you, plug it in down here, put the box in the corner of the tent, plug the fridge in, and away you go. Um, and I've also got a small powered light as well. Um, I'll stop the video here, I'll just plug the fridge in, and I'll plug the light in, just, well, just, just to show you. Okay, so just to show you real quick, this is pretty much what was taken when I went festivaling. So we've got the panel outside, which I showed you guys. We've got the beer fridge, we've got the battery box, and we've got the light. Um, for those of you who haven't seen, uh, if you look at my previous video, I've mentioned about this. Um, but this is pretty bloody cool. Um, this is a 12 volt light, um, if you want to buy one. There's the website there. That's onsolar.co.uk. This only uses 3 watts of power from 12 volts, um, but it puts out something like the equivalent of a 30 watt light. Um, you can't really see it now because it's daylight in here, um, but trust me, this thing is pretty bright. Um, I mean, it's certainly bright enough to light up a tent when you're camping. Um, I did used to have two of them, but I broke one. Um, the only thing I would say is with these, the outer casing is glass, so you do need to be careful with them. 
Um, right. Uh, and you also see how the voltage goes down a little bit. Um, if we have a look over here, go ahead and plug the fridge in. You'll see the difference it makes to the voltage. Um, it does pull quite a bit of power. Uh, if we look inside, put the thermometer in here so you guys can see. Um, it's about 21 degrees, 22 degrees outside. Whereas in the box, it's only about 12 degrees. So perfect for beers. And if you put some ice or water in there, it'll last even longer. Um, yeah. Anyway, I won't uh, keep on too much longer. Any questions, uh, let me know. I'm more than willing to help if I can. Um, but yeah, that is the latest incarnation of the portable uh, festival setup. Um, just a quick addition to the video. Um, just in case anyone is wondering what this is. Um, this is an old PC power supply. Um, and just a quick overview of what I've done is I've just taken all the um, 12 volt lines and all the negative lines um, and I've then just rigged it via these little wires here so that it turns on when I turn the mains on um, and that just gives me a nice 12 volt power supply either from these two points here or from this lighter socket um, which I can run lights, I can run the fridge, I can run Effectively, I can run anything 12 volts up to around about 200 watts from this. Um, and it's just handy if I want to test anything or if I want to run anything. 